Hello and welcome back to Jeff Finnegan's Wake, the project where I, the man named Jeff, read the book Finnegan's Wake one page at a time, one day at a time. I put it on YouTube. I call it Jeff Finnegan's Wake because it's Jeff reading Finnegan's Wake. Jeff Finnegan's Wake. I love it. All right. We're on to page 170 of this book, Finnegan's Wake. And let's just fucking knock it out. Here we go. Since, would we now for Annas and Annas? Would we for full score eight and a Lyrita? For 12 blocks, one bob? For toad, four testers, one groat? Not for a dinar? Not for Joe? Dictated to all of his little brothren and sweet tureens, the first riddle of the universe, asking, when is a man not a man? Telling them, take their time, young fries, and wait till the tide stops. For from the first his day was a fortnight. And offering the prize of a bittersweet crab, a little present from the past, for their copper age was yet unminted to the winner. One said when the heavens are Quakers, a second said when bohemian lips, a third said when he, no, when hold hard a jiffy, when he is Gnostic, and determined too, the next one said, when the angel of death kicks the bucket of life. Still another said, when the wine's at wit's ends. And still another, when lovely woman stoops to conk him. One of the littliest said to me, Sem, when Papa papered the harbor. One of the wittiest said, when he yeet ye ablokukin, and he smear himself zojukin. Still one said, when you are old, I'm gray fall full we sleep. And still another, when we deader walkner, and another, when he is just only after having been semi-sized. Another, when yea, he hath no mananas. And one, when dose pigs they begin now, that they will flies up in till the luft. All were wrong, so Shem himself, the doctator, took the cake, the correct solution being, I'll give it up, when he is a yours till the rending of the rocks, Sham. Shem was a sham, and a low sham, and his lowness creeped out first via foodstuffs. So low was he that he preferred Gibson's tea-time salmon timmed, as expensive as pleasing, to the plumpest row-heavy lax or the friskiest par or smolt troutlet, that ever was gaffed between Lake Slip and Island Bridge, and many was the time he repeated in his botulism that no jungle-grown pineapple ever smacked like the whoppers you shook out of Ananias's cans. Fine later in Gladstone's Corner House, England. None of your inch-thick blue-blooded balaclava fried at belief steaks or juice jelly legs of the Grex molten mutton or the greasily grisly grunter's groupons or slice upon slab of luscious goose buzz bosom with lump after load of plum pudding stuffing all a swim in a... Whew. All right, that was page 170 of F -F -F Finnegan's Wake. That's all as I'm reading today. Get these edited. Put up... Yeah. So, once again, I bid you adieu.